Demobilized from Monte Grandfather said they are enduring huge challenges and can't return home as their hometowns are still occupied despite the commitment by the Tigran side to comply with the agreement including the DDR process. <laughs> We are implementing the Pretoria Agreement exclusively unlike the federal government. The demobilized fighters who came from the occupied territories of Tigray are in a situation where they are unable to return home and can't lead their normal lives. The demobilized soldiers are still entering challenges. So far, we are displaced from our home. We are demobilized for sake of peace. Our families are displaced in campus and house renters. The Tigray Interim Regional Administration is doing what is expected from it in honoring and implementing the agreement. The federal government should restore the occupied territories of Tigray and return us home. The mayor of Zalambasa, Eastern Tigray, Prahana Berha, on his part, also says demobilized fighters are going through difficult moments and are exposed to psychological crisis as they can't return home. <laughs> The demobilized former fighters in our town are subjected to psychological and moral damages as they can't return to their homes. On top of that, they are entering enormous challenges. The mayor also urges the federal government to undertake its responsibility so as to bring sustainable peace in returning the displaced persons to their home as per the accord. <laughs> If pretoria agreement is implemented just by one side, it is like clapping with one hand. So the federal government should reciprocate. It is to be remembered that last week on Wednesday, the Grand Forces former chief and deputy head of the interim administration announced the demobilization of over 50,000 fighters as per of the peace agreement.